In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install MySQL on Windows. So open up your browser and head over to mysql.com. Then go to the downloads page. Now here, scroll down to the bottom. We're going to use MySQL Community Edition, which is absolutely free. So let's go with this. Now select MySQL Community Server. And then scroll down. So here you should see something like this, MySQL Installer for Windows. This is the recommended method for installing MySQL on Windows. So click on this. All right, on the next page, scroll down and download the first installer here. On the next page, scroll down and click on No Thanks, just start my download. Otherwise you have to create an account and log in, which is unnecessary for following this course. So let's go with this and save this file to our computer and then run it. All right, we're going to use this setup wizard to install MySQL on our computer. This is very easy. All you have to do is to click next. But there are a couple of places where you need to enter a password. Let me show you. So on the first page for the setup type, we're going to use the developer default setup. Go to the next page. Now here we're getting a little warning because this installation wizard wants to install the connector for Python 3.7. But I don't have Python on this machine, so that's why I'm getting this warning. Now on your machine, you might or you might not get this error. It doesn't really matter. Just click Next and one more time. So here are the products that are going to get installed. The first one is MySQL Server. The second one is MySQL Workbench. This is the graphical tool that we use to connect to our database server and manage our databases. You're going to see that soon. So click on Execute. Now this is going to take about five to 10 minutes. So I'm going to pause the recording. All right, all the products are installed. Beautiful. Let's go to the next page. And again, here on the group replication page, also click on Next. On the next page, which is about networking, leave all the default settings. So let's go to the next page. Now we should set a password for the root or the admin user. So click on Next. And in this box, type a password for the admin user. All right, and then let's go to the next page. Once again, leave all the default settings and click on Next and execute one more time. All right, and now let's finish the installation. Once again, we have to click on Next and then Finish. And one more time, there's so many steps. Now here's the page where you need to enter the admin password. So the page is called Connect to Server. You can see the username is root, which represents the admin user. So in this box, enter the password that you said earlier, then click on check. Okay, connection was successful, beautiful. Let's go to the next page and click on execute and finally finish. There you go, we have one more step. <laughs> next, now finally, <laughs> after all these steps, the installation is complete. Now this is going to start MySQL Workbench, which is the graphical tool we use to manage our databases and run SQL queries. So click on Finish. So now we have a command prompt window where we can type instructions to talk to our MySQL server. We don't really need this, so close it. And here's MySQL Workbench. Now the first time you open this page, by default you should see a connection here. If you don't see it, click on this plus icon. On this page, give this connection a name. Let's say local instance. Now leave all the settings to their default value. But here for the password, click on store in vault. And in this box, type the password that you set for the admin user. So I'm going to put that here. OK. Now click on test connection. All right, we successfully connected to the MySQL server on this computer. All right, then click on OK. Now we click on this connection to connect to our database server. All right, so here's the interface that you'll be using throughout this course. On the left side, we have the navigator panel. In the middle, we have the query editor. 
which we can resize. This is where we're gonna write our SQL queries. And on the right side, we have SQL additions. So we're done with the installation of MySQL on our computer. Next, I'm gonna show you how to create the databases for this course.